far more vocal now aren't you yeah and welcome back <laughs> Hi. and uh, good afternoon yeah, it's the afternoon today. yeah we're yeah. lazy today we have a little bit <laughs> so since we did the aquiline wide beam tour um there has been a hot topic flinging <laughs> its way around facebook um with various <laughs> attempts of um looking at ways of doing this hot topic so, I'm going to tease you <laughs> I in a little what bit. This is. <laughs> what do you think we might be doing with these? Drum roll. <laughs> this. Oops. <laughs> this. <laughs> and. Oh, no. Drum roll, Richard. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Don't do that. Oh. Doing it in my head. This. <laughs> well, we're going to show you what we're going to do <laughs> right now. You climb across the ceiling. <laughs> <laughs> you know when you get out, you just put the video on to record, and then your other half starts peeling plastic, on <laughs> making a noise. Oh, that was really satisfying, and now you've ruined it. <laughs> So anybody that watched our boat tour video, um, and a lot of you did, um, were very intrigued by um, the thermal brake inserts that they had made for their windows. Um, and I said at the time, I'm going to get Richard onto that, and we're yeah, going to make some did. of those. Because as you know, we've done, well, we've done two videos at least about battling condensation. Yes, we know that... <laughs> <laughs> Double glazing would Can't help. help it. <laughs> it's on it now. Double glazing would help. But to be honest, up until this point in time, we've not had the money to, to replace all of our windows with double glazing. And actually, well, for it to be fully effective, you have to replace the frames as well, don't you? To stop any condensation, any condensation. On, the flat, on the frames, yeah. yeah. But so the um, window price doubled. Yeah, I know. Literally, it was like, we'll get them next year, we'll get that sorted, and then I went online, oh my life, and they literally doubled in price. Yeah, so... Like, that's ridiculous. It's not going to be happening anytime soon. So, yeah. anyway, we thought we'd have a go at making these. Um, so, <laughs> it's getting to that time of year, like historically, this is when you start to lose the plot. Um, so, <clears throat> we've measured... That was slightly tricky, so we're just doing a porthole first off um, because we wanted to make sure that the um, plastic sheeting we've got is okay, that the rubber we've got is okay, that everything was okay before spending money because it's still not going to be cheap, cheap at all. Not when you um, do all of them. No, um, and yeah, and doing all of them. So we thought we'd try a put porthole and um, we'll do our tests like we did when we used the double glazing film before we will film it in the morning and see what the sort condensation like tomorrow, is like it yeah. Will, yeah it will be quite bad tomorrow. yeah so we've measured that was quite tricky because obviously we knew what the size of the glass was because we've put things in place of the glass before to yeah. stop insects but it isn't the glass is but it? the yeah the, um, the sort of surround the frame is actually wider so we think we've got it right. So we have ordered, what is this? It's not pure Perspex, is it? No, it's got acrylic it's got, on it. Yeah, so it's like a... So it's quite flexible. It's quite flexible, because you need but it to be... But it's still really strong. But rigid, yeah, you don't want it floppy, because it just won't work. So first thing to do is Richard also... Can I put this off now? You can take that off now, yeah. No, I'll finish, yeah. <laughs> and it's on. Yep. He's enjoying this. Good bit. If this works, this is going to be my Christmas present, isn't it? Yeah. And I'll be just making these. Yeah. All throughout Christmas and New yeah. Year. And then when you peel this off, it's gone. Ta -da! So, and then <laughs> Richard bought this from Amazon. My secret supplier. Yeah. Yeah. So this is rubber stripping. Um, I'll put the link in the description to this. This was 
on an online provider, but it took a long time to come actually. So Too we, long. yeah, we yeah. might see if we can. There's loads of companies online that you can order, like um, if you do watch out because they do from. say ordered within 24 hours. You won't get it for a week and a half, two no. weeks. Yeah, it's a little bit. We've literally been waiting since we did the boat tour video. So first thing yeah. to do is it's cut to size, so that's perfect. Is basically glue the rubber edging on. So that's the first job, isn't it? Sort of, we're not going to glue it on. No, are oh, we going to put it on first to see if it works? Yeah, good plan, very good plan. There's a metal strip in there. Ah, uh, yeah. So you've got to push that glass right up into that bit. And then that sort of grips it a bit. Yeah, and it doesn't open up very easily because of the metal. Uh, you can tell when you get it right in. Yeah, because you can crinkly, see it. it. Yeah, so it means you're not all the way in. So you've literally got to sit here like this and go all the way around it. Sink it right down. And you can sort of see that bit's okay. And then it comes uh, up yeah. there, look, you see? So you yeah. think you've got it on, but you haven't. You haven't, right. Yeah, so we'll cut and we'll come back. Okay, I've got to be honest. Richard took it off and redid it. Because every time you pull it, or you sort of try and push it on, it sort of stretches and the size changes. So it's got it nice and rigid on now. So now it's time to cut. Okay, so Richard is going to use the double cut technique. So you've got a pair of, what's the technical term for them? Cutters. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what are they called? <laughs> Choppers. Choppers, okay. Not a rally. <laughs> right, okay, and you're gonna slightly overcut. Yeah, that's the plan. Hopefully. Can't see if your hands in the way now. Well, cameraman, angles. Okay, there we go. I might that's have to it. take this off to cut this. Okay. I can't really get in there, look. So we're gonna try that. And if it's no good... It's hard to get the, through the wire bit. Yeah. And then these ones, we'll cut that bit. There you go, so the scissors go through pretty easily. Okay. Uh, Ta-da! And you can glue that bit together. Okay, are we going to glue it or are we going to test it first? Well, let's see if it fits in the hole, shall we? Yeah. Okay, so first of all, you can see we've still got some existing condensation on the windows. And um, the, and even the frame, though, yeah, and the frame. Uh, even though the it's right out there. Yeah, the heating's been on and fire's been on, but we're still building up a bit of condensation. So I'm going to literally just microfiber it all off, get them right in as well, because I'm going to try and get the window as humanly dry as possible for a fair test. <laughs> Remember the science teacher saying that? Because in fairness, we have still got, haven't we, our window film on our bow doors. Yeah, the original, I'll the show original you that in a minute. film it's... that we put on. And it works, it does work. I mean, and the idea is we want to get some perspex for there instead. Yeah, but I'll bond that on. Yeah, well, yeah, not, yeah. Into the wood groove. I'm really trying to get into the little. It'll then make here. like proper double glazing, won't it? If I yeah. bond it onto that bit. Okay, the moment of truth. Now they are. For them to have a really good seal, they are a bit of a pain to get in. And as you can see, it looks like uh -oh. it looks like it's too <laughs> <laughs> uh -oh. <laughs> uh, we sort of got the top in, don't you? Yeah. They, they, they are quite difficult. Do you think we've made it a bit too big or? No, because once it's all in, it's actually not too bad. No. But it's just this getting them in. I guess it'll get a bit more easy with time as well, will it? I don't know. Loosen up a bit the rubber, maybe. Because um, you're folding, you can see the rubber folding. Have a look. See the rubber folding? Look. Yeah. So it's straight there and then it folds in, which is what you want, because it's that's the seal. That's a nice airtight seal. So yeah, it's it there, in. Fab. So we're nice, we're nice and in there. That looks quite cool as well, doesn't it? 
Yeah. So that's it, you can see. Now for getting out these. What are these for, Richard? <laughs> well, when we play Floor is Lava, <laughs> I'm going to use these like Mission Impossible across see the can, ceiling. I dare you, see if, um, show our subscribers whether you can, like. What, stick that and hang on it? Yeah. <laughs> Remember who made our boat? Yeah, that's true. I'm not hanging off the ceiling. <laughs> Anyway, moving on from that subject, <laughs> that is, hopefully, we're just going to put on here, open that up, and it should stick to it and pull it, so you can take it out. Yeah! And there you go. Window suckers. And they were from? What do you think? Amazon. Yeah. We'll put a link in the description for those as well. Yeah. They, they weren't too much, actually. I think they're three or four quid for... Don't quote me on that, but for two. Cool. So that's in, and we're going to come back to it in the morning um, and do a <laughs> condensation update. Da, da, da. Um, obviously, you know, we could have made more, but we wanted to double check that it fitted and it was all fine before yeah. we went ahead and spent more money. Well, yeah, you don't want to order a load of Perspex for it to be the wrong size. No, exactly. And then our next um, effort is to do the the big ones. The big windows. They are like squared, like a right angle at the top, but they're curved at the bottom. Yeah. So Rich is going to need to do some measuring and work out sort of the, yeah, I got a, the curvature. Yeah, basically, yeah, that's all I need to do. Yeah. That's what, yeah. So are we going to do one of those next, do you think? Yeah, I'll measure it today or tomorrow, yeah. probably. <laughs> <laughs> a bit late now, now I need to sit down and have a little. <laughs> That's worn him out. <laughs> Feet up time, innit? I've been working hard this week. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, and... and I'll yeah. measure them, I'll get the things, then I'll take the measurements to work, because I'm not measuring the corner radiuses, subtracting the distances and not doing that. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, and then if that's successful, we will make a whole set. Um, that's the royal we, yeah. Richard will make a whole set. We've decided and not... That's even That's going to be your Christmas present. <laughs> Thanks. And even though um, we bought super glue, we decided actually, because as it goes into the window, it squishes together. It compresses so much yeah. that it, there's no gap there anyway. No, so no. you wouldn't really have to... You don't even really need to glue I wouldn't, it. no. Because no. the glue will go solid. Yeah. And, and you that might some, lift it slightly. Want some flexibility, yeah. yeah. So we will come back to you in the morning. <laughs> It's the moment of truth. Ooh. It's really exciting. <laughs> Let's show you. Oh, I thought we were going to Christmas market. <laughs> we're doing that later. <laughs> <laughs> so you can see at the moment, like this is a beautifully sealed, clean window. It's been raining, so you can some, see some drips on the outside. So last night we just did basically like a field test. We did. We? So yeah, we had it. They were all shut, weren't they? So yeah. we had all the curtains shut, and you'd put your hands under here, so you went no higher than the bar. That was our set, wasn't it? Yeah. And you'd put your hands under the curtains, and from this window, the one with the seal in, there was nothing, was there? No, it was there really was no warm. cold, yeah. no, no nothing. When we tried one of the other ones, you could put your hands under here, and you could feel the cold air, the cold drop, couldn't you, coming yeah, down coming behind down. the curtains? Yeah. So it made a massive difference. It's basically early afternoon, so I have um, used our uh, karcher on all the windows. On the other ones. Um, but I took some pictures um, at, I think it was half seven this morning. <laughs> yeah, um, every single window wet with condensation. That one. Nothing. Nothing. Absolutely on it. spotless, nothing wasn't it? It was it like, I opened the curtain, I was like, <gasps> It works! It works. We yeah. beat it! And it was a cold, frosty morning this oh, morning. Oh, it was minus something. Yeah, Even it was the really pipes cold. Even that froze. Yeah. We haven't got any water in the moment. No, frozen. no. So, it works. So yeah, great. Now on to... Oh. We've now got the dimensions and everything for the porthole, so we can just order that. That one's know. all in the book now, yeah. So now we need to do the rectangular windows. Um, we have been and reading... So our um, friend that we did the boat tour of, um, she often leaves one out so that she can open a window for ventilation. Right. But I think as long as you've got a bit of ventilation as well, because obviously that moisture sort of will go somewhere. Yeah. Um, 
But yeah, really excited. Now I've got to make the other one. We nailed it. <laughs> so we're going to leave it there. Um, don't forget <laughs> to hit that subscribe button and uh, ping the notification bell because I haven't said that for quite a long time. Mm -hmm. And uh, YouTube will let you know when our next video is coming out. And we will see you next time. <laughs> Bye. Bye.